Hi, this is Sahana. In this session, we are going to discuss layout in ASP.NET Core applications. Look at this application. At the top, we have a header. Next, we have content area. And at the bottom, we have a footer. You can see layout is a combination of all these visual elements. ASP.NET Core application lets us define layout using layout file. This is ASP.NET Core MVC application. Look at this project structure. Here we have views folder. Inside views folder, we have shared folder. This is the place where you can find layout file. Here we have underscore layout.cshtm. By default, layout file is named as underscore layout.cshtml. Look at this file. This is just like any HTML file. Here we have HTML tag, inside which we have head tag, here we have few meta tags, then here we have a title tag, then with the help of link tag, we have linked style sheets. Inside body section, we have header tag, next we have div tag, and we have footer tag. Inside header section, we have designed navigation bar. Here we have used now tag, then we have designed navigation bar using combination of HTML and bootstrap. Next, we have designed content area using development. If I expand development, you can find this special method called render body. We will come back to this method later. Next, we have designed footer using development. After footer, we have linked few JavaScript files using script tag. And again here we have one more special method by name render section and this serves special purpose. Render body method serves as placeholder for child views and displays the content. In this application, this whole area is covered by div within which we have render body method. So when I click on any of the child views, content of that view gets displayed here. Rest everything remains same. This is the speciality of render body method. Another important method is render section. This method renders the content of a section and it takes name of a section as parameter. See, here we have render section method. Don't get confused. This is asynchronous version of render section method. So we have async keyword. This method takes name of the section as parameter. Here, scripts is the name of a section. And second parameter required tells whether this section is required or not. In this case, this is optional. If you want to call this method, you have to define a section and you have to specify the name of a section. I'll show you an example for this render section. Inside views folder, we have tutorial folder. Inside this, we have create tutorial view. While discussing validation scripts partial, I have defined this section. See, here I have defined section by name scripts and I'm calling this partial view by name validation scripts partial. So, the content of this partial view is going to get displayed here. In short, this file provides consistent look and feel for an application and eliminates duplicate code and maintenance becomes easy. One more important thing to know here is application can have multiple layout files. In this application, we have single layout file which is inside shared folder. And we have specified layout using view start file. Look at this view start file. Here we have specified layout using layout property. Speciality of view start file is this file gets executed before each view. So the same layout is shared by all the views. We can have multiple layout files in application. If you have multiple layout files in your application, then we can open specific view file. For example, here I will open this index.cshtml inside this home folder. Let's say you want to specify different layout file for this application. Then you can make use of layout property and you can specify layout. Right now, we don't have any layout by name test layout. Just for demonstration purpose, I have specified this. In such case, only this particular view will have different layout. Rest of the views will share common layout. In some other session, I'll show you how to design different layout and use multiple layouts in application. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.